Winter art is a self-improvement trend that encourages people to set goals and accomplish them during the last three months of the year. This trend is based on the idea that the coldest and darkest days of the year are the best time to refocus and prepare for the new year. What are some changes that you can make right now? Even though you have less than 90 days, what are some changes that you can implement now that when it is the new year, you're walking into the new year as the new you? Why would you want to wait until the new year to start changing your habits? Let's start changing it now. I already read off what winter arc means, so therefore let's start jotting things down. So waking up early in the morning, I wake up at 5 a.m., and that's pretty early. And girl, sometimes that snooze button, I will continue to hit it up until 530. But even then, that is pushing it, right? For me, being that I have to be to work at 7. So I would set my alarm at 4 a.m. and again at 430, hoping that one day I am going to wake up during those early times that I added to my alarms, um, to my alarm system, that I will actually get up and want to work out because I am not a morning person when it comes down to working out. I prefer to work out in the later afternoon because my body is more energized and I have more fuel in my body. I'm just not that type of person to just start lifting weights at four or five o'clock in the morning. And child, I am not thinking about going to nobody's gym. And then being that I'm in the house and I'm very close to my bed, there is no reason <laughs> I have no reason to just want to get up and start working out, but I practiced that for the past two weeks, trying my hardest to get up at 4.30. And finally, your girl was able to get up at 4.30 a.m. A few days ago on Monday, your girl got up at 4.30 a.m. and started working out. I started getting on my treadmill and started walking. I was doing 30 minutes a day and I can't begin to tell you that working out that early in the morning on an empty stomach, a fasted stomach, that really helped me be energized and prepare myself for the remainder of the day. That really changed my mindset. Like, hey, I can do this. Hey, I can get up and start working out. Like, this really is not as bad as I thought it would be. You know, just keep it light and simple. And I feel like when you keep your um, healthy habits simple, keep your goals as simple as it can there are going to be some goals that are going to be a little bit more complicated and it takes months for you to actually see that goal actually checked off off of your list but something as small as getting up 30 minutes to an hour before your regular time that you like to get up and whether that is just walking around the house um, praying whether that's just sitting down having a cup of coffee taking your time to get ready that is all about creating healthy habits and winter art can be different for any and everybody. So how my winter art sometimes, how my winter art can be for fat loss, it might be for bulking or weight loss for somebody else. And all three categories are a little bit different in how it looks on someone's body where weight loss is weight loss on the scale. Fat loss is body recomp and bulking is eating more so that you can bulk up and build more muscle. I don't know about you, but I don't like to wait until the new year. I don't believe in the whole New Year's resolution because to me, every time I make a New Year's resolution, it is basically dead on arrival. Like right now, I have plans for next year. There's like two events that I need to do. And I have some own personal goals that I want to um, see coming to fruition next year and I'm starting that now I'm making plans I'm saving money I'm doing whatever I need to do to make sure that the plans that I have set for 2025 that it is going to come true and some of that does take some prayer I ain't gonna lie it takes a whole lot of prayer it takes a whole lot of prayer to have like a better attitude and to change my old ways of looking at things instead of just saying why you know, why me and how come it's not happening for me like it's happening for everybody else or, you know, you just lose temper a lot of times because you want something so bad that you know that you have to wait on God to like change it and fix things and make it right. And how you know when change needs to happen is when it gets thrown in your face multiple times.
it gets thrown in your face to where you have to deal with it, you know? And I am excited for 2025. And like I said, I have my goals. I have everything written down and I have been working on them for like the past um, six months, actually. I've been working on my goal settings. And of course, I'm not going to be hung up if everything on my list does not get checked off. But if something gets checked off, one thing or two or three things out of my five things get checked off, to me, that will be set as an accomplishment. And that's something that I want you to be able to um, say about your list. You know, a lot of times we we can't cross out everything. You know, I have a prayer list that has 25 items on it, and that was three years ago. And I think maybe I've only crossed out, I have to look at it again, but off the top of my head, I think I crossed off like three or four things. And majority of the items on my list were about other people. Finally, I got one off, um, I was able to cross off one and that was related to me, and that was my weight loss. My weight loss took forever to get to this point where I have exceeded my expectations of my weight loss goals. And it's just something about waiting and just waiting for the right time. Just know that God will always have your back. He always have your best interests at heart, especially if you are delighting yourself in, within him he will give it back in return. So don't ever think that whatever you are planting in your seasons that God has forgotten about you because he has not. It just takes us a little bit longer. And then sometimes it is within our own mindset. You know, our mindset and heart posture may not be right during that time. And then therefore, God is not really going to move. Um, he's just going to wait until you come to him because a lot of times, like for me, I would try to fix it myself. But knowing I need the higher power to help me in different situations. So once you get tired of chasing something and you sit back and you give it to God and let him fix it. And then he puts people in your path and um, he'll put you in the right place at the right time. And then before you know it, wait a minute. This is something that I had on my list. I can cross this off now. You know, thank you, God. Thank you. So during this season, even if you don't have anything, just telling God thank you for just having life, health, and strength, your family and your friends, just thanking God on a day-to-day -day basis and daily throughout the day is better than nothing, in my opinion, just to say that I don't have any goals. I don't really care about that. No, you should care because you want to be alive, you know, next year. I hope so. You will want to continue to be alive. You will want God to continue to bless you with more life and health and strength and that he will, you know, bless your family from generations to generations and generations. So that's how I think about winter art. And um, I hope this has resonated with you and that it can help you. Set your winter art goals now and watch them manifest, regardless of how long it takes. Set yourself up for success and believing that it is going to happen, and it will happen. Until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, gorgeous.